Okay, so the second thing that I think uh, Jesus wants us to understand from this parable is this. Forgiveness accepted must become forgiveness expressed. Forgiveness accepted must become forgiveness expressed. So, I don't know about you, but it boggles my mind, and I've wrestled with this parable for years, it boggles my mind that this guy who was just forgiven so much couldn't forgive this little bit of money that his fellow slave owed, right? I mean, he's been forgiven a million bucks, but he goes out and he grabs this other guy by the throat and can't let him off the hook for $20. What's wrong with this guy? I mean, there's something broken in his heart, right? What's the matter with him? Uh, and I'm right there with the master at the end of the story. I said, that's right, unforgive that guy. Throw him into prison, torture him, right? I, I'm right there. But the truth is, when I really think about it, um, I'm often guilty of the exact same thing. 